In this video I'll explain how to count non-zero values in a vector or in a data frame using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So in this video I will show you two examples and the first example is based on the vector object that we can create with line two of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new vector object is appearing, which is called vec. And we can print this vector to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line three of the code. And then you can see that our vector contains several numeric values. And some of these values are equal to zero. Now, if you want to count the non-zero values in this vector, then we can apply the code that you can see in line five. And in this line of code, I'm applying the sum function to a logical condition. And this logical condition is saying that we want to count every value in our vector that is unequal to zero. So as you can see, we are specifying this logical condition within the sum function. So if you run line five of the code, you can see that a value is returned to the bottom in the RStudio console. And this value is five. And in other words, this tells us that five of the values in our vector are not zero. So in this first example, I have explained how to count non-zero values in a vector object. However, we can also count non-zero values in the columns of a data frame. And this is what I want to show you in the second example of this tutorial. So as the first step, we need to create an example data frame, as you can see in lines seven to nine. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data set is appearing, which is called data. And if you click on this data set, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data set. And as you can see, our data contains seven rows and three columns, which are called x1, x2, and x3. And each of these columns contains numeric values. And some of the values in these columns are equal to zero. So if we want to count the non-zero values in each of the columns of our data frame, then we can apply the call sums function, as you can see in line 11 of the code. And within the call sums function, we need to specify a logical condition based on our data frame. So in this case, our data frame is called data, and we are checking which of the values in our data frame are unequal to zero. So if you run line 11 of the code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that another output has been created. And as you can see, the first column x1 contains four non-zero values. The second column x2 contains five non-zero values. And the third column x3 contains zero non-zero values. Or in other words, all values in the column x3 are equal to zero. So in this tutorial, I have explained how to count non-zero values using the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on the homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail, and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.